All right, we're here with Terry Simpson. So Terry, why are we here at the Grove at 8 o'clock on a Wednesday morning? Um, why 8 o'clock? Why at the Grove? I'm not sure, but it really is a celebration of energy. It's about core and more, creating a difference from the inside out. It's fitness, it's movement, it's health, and it's healing. It's allowing us to all get together, and it's the experience of my class, brought outdoors, and why not sweat in an outdoor mall? <laughs> And so many exercises and different things like this out there, why is this different or special? You know, it's not so different in the sense of movement. You know, the things that you're going to see in my class, you're going to see anywhere. The thing is, is that what I try to do is build cohesion within the group itself to allow the connection of the energy, to let people sort of help take care of each other. One of the things that I think happens in health and fitness, whether it be yoga or Pilates or anything else, they become very islandy. They become very on their own. What I want to try to do is bring all these things together to create this sort of cohesive body. We want to have a cohesive self. Well, I want to have a cohesive group exercise experience, a, a cohesive fitness experience, to make it something that we can all exchange energy, take care of each other, and take care of ourselves. Did you find that that was lacking? I mean, you've been teaching classes a long time. Did you see that that was like the class wasn't kind of coming together? What do you mean by a long time? No, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I have. I, I'm 174 years old. I have a wonderful moisturizer. Fantastic. Now, um, what I found was lacking was there tends to be this ego about the way people present health and fitness. And we've become so image driven that we've forgotten that the real reason we're doing it is so that we can live into our 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s, 110s to pick up our grandkids and our great grandkids if we're so fortunate to have them. But really to have this ability to take care of ourselves from the inside out. And that's why when I teach classes, I ask people, don't work out, work in. That the sweat you create comes from an internal structure, this, this wonderful mechanism, this machine that drives you and motivates you to do great things, not only in my class and the classes that we do, but in every other part of your life. And to carry that with you, that spirit of health. And really it's about healing. It's about taking care of you. Muscles, tendons, bones, creating a core and a stability so that you can have balance and do things that you want to do, but then share your energy, your spirit with the world around you. Cool. And now, if people are here in LA and want to come to your class, where do they find you? Where do they find the class? I am at Sports Club LA in Beverly Hills and West Los Angeles. You can come over, be a guest, uh, come over and just play for the day, or join up. It's a great gym, it's a great place. Most importantly, like I said, it's just another place that we can build a cohesion. And the more, the merrier. The more energy we have, the more of abundance we all grow from, we all get in shape, we all take care of each other, and we show up for ourselves when ultimately, every single day of our lives, that's really what we're supposed to do. Okay, and this class you're going to teach us an hour? Yeah, we're going to, well, today, because it's it's national television and it's going to probably stop and starty because that's how television works and uh, they have their own agendas. Normally the class is about an hour, but today it'll probably be about 30 to 45 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Um, but you'll get a snippet of what we do and you'll see people getting energetic and everything else. And I always tell them that the, great, the greatest exercise they will do in any given day of their life is to smile. So my hope is that when you're watching this, that when you see what we do, you'll see people at times laughing, maybe because of pain, maybe because of annoyance, <laughs> you never know, but ultimately you're gonna see them do something that they didn't think they could do or necessarily want to do, but because they believe in themselves, found it within themselves to do. Okay, we get you a smile for us. <laughs> and um, just because I wanna have my camera ready, when in this class will the shirt come off? Uh, uh, probably momentarily. Uh, right as it, right, what I tend to do is I tend to, I want to sort of build it up a little bit, and then I try to hit them with a big crescendo of the shirt coming off. <laughs> but then I quickly put it back on. I don't want to reveal too quickly. And then right at the end, I just, it's really not a shirt coming off. It's really a, a ripping and tearing. Uh, it's sort of a, of a wrestling, sort of a, a tapping into the inner beast or sort of thing inside. It really makes me kind of feel even more stupid than I already do most of the time when I'm teaching this class, but it's it's great. Okay, well hopefully my battery will hang in there and my hand will not shake too much. Right. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Terry. Sure.